Hey everyone, so I've got a nice short clean for you today. So this might be a good one for you to uh, just put on in the background while you get like 11 minutes of cleaning done. I think that is uh, kind of a good way to just you know reset a room or an area or just a little spot in your house without it being too overwhelming. So this here is my front entryway closet and I mostly just keep cleaning supplies in here. But uh, I really like this closet because I was just able to make it really pretty despite it being, you know, kind of a uh, boring use for just, you know, cleaning supplies like the broom and vacuum, etc. I decorated the door with these fake flowers several years ago um, just because I wanted it to be a really nice area. And I've also got a really pretty puzzle hung up in the background in there. But uh, over the years, it uh, fell down, and I just haven't had time, really, to even put it back up. And you'll get to see that in a little bit. So I've got that little bin up there. It was just, it was filthy. I keep the dustpan in there, typically. And I think just from that, it got all this junk in it. So I'm vacuuming that out. Um, just doing that real quick. This only took me about half an hour to, to clean this closet, so uh, it wasn't really too long. I'd already had a pretty a long and productive day when I made this, so I didn't want to clean for too long, but I did want to get it nice. I found that in there. I think I was like, I didn't even know what this was. It turns out it's some like funky, funk away spray for shoes that my husband bought. So. We're just going to keep that in there. Well, I found some like random things in that bin up there that I was able to find their actual homes for. Just like the bottom thing in a bag that um, it keeps it keeps its shape when you're packing stuff. So that'll be hopefully useful to have back for that bag. And there's the puzzle. It's, oh, it's a puzzle that I did, and it's, um, I think, Gaia. And it's just, it's super pretty. So I love beautifying every part of my house if I can. And just having like little nice things throughout. Little little happy surprises. I enjoy that. So I'm finally putting that back up into the closet. So I had fallen down. I don't know. I don't know if I want to frame it. I framed a lot of the... Um, puzzles that I've done around the house, but yeah, I might just keep that one uh, with the thumbtacks in the wall. So just since it's a closet, it's not like, you know, I don't know, it still looks pretty. And the only thing with the flowers on that door is like when someone closes it, some of them fall off. I'd eventually like to... And I've talked about this for like years, hot glue them in or something so they stay. But for now, I'm just like, please don't close it. Someone closed it the other day because we had a, a guest from out of town. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened because they're probably used to being able to close their closet doors. But I kind of like how this one looks and it's, it's open and it's like, hey, cleaning supplies are right here. Feel free to clean. I've got that little decoration on the door handle of that closet, too. It's one of those things from, I think, Home Depot. I used to have these, uh, like, free kids events. I don't know if they still do anymore since COVID. But um, it's like a spring one. with Flowers, it's pretty. That door handle on the closet is actually great to, like, hang little decorations on. Uh, for the different seasons and holidays. I know most like people who try to have a like more minimal home, which I don't know, I might uh, not succeed at that. But um most people in the YouTube videos I watch, like they don't like seasonal decor. They're not into it. But it's something that I really enjoy. I love each month just putting up new decor in the house. I think it keeps it more fun and interesting. And it all tends to be stuff that I either get on 
clearance like the day after that holiday for whatever that month holiday was which i love clearance shopping after the holiday and then saving it for the next year and then like it's super cheap and then i just have like a nice surprise for the next year um and then some of it's stuff that was given to me by others yeah yeah i I just enjoy you can see the little flower uh, decoration there better I just enjoy making the home different and in pretty ways. Pretty in different ways. Yeah, that makes more sense to say. And then I have that little, um, I was trying to find like something for that little closet that would fit in there. And several years ago, I found that little stand. I don't know what to call it. It's not like a pot. I think I found it at a Walmart. And I'd put the long stems from those fake flowers um, into that pot as well as a kind of parasol that I have that I got from um, Epcot when I was in like elementary school. can't believe I've kept it that long. I used to be like obsessed with the, the Japan stuff. So I think I got that in the Japan area at Epcot. And these are getting a much needed clean. Those little sl slots... Yeah, those tend to get ignored during cleanings. So it's it's great to do a deep cleaning. And that little um, thin strip of wall between the, the brown door and then the closet door, that definitely needed a vacuuming, which it gets here because there were like cobwebs on it. I don't know how long those have been there. So it was nice to get this like little neglected area of the house. Like who cleans the cleaning supplies, the cleaning supplies area? Just like uh, who takes care of the caretaker, you know? It's important to do every now and then. It's already looking so much better in there. I'm so happy with you know, how this turns out and having this area nice again. So let me know in the comments if I should do more of these short cleans, these little small ones, so that you can use it as like a, a timer or something while you clean and just get a, a short not overwhelming amount done. Because like I said before, I am trying to, to vary the times and see, uh, you know, there are different uses for different things. Now I can move on to the, the floor area. When I was <laughs> scrubbing that floor area uh, inside the little closet, it was coming up like black. It was uh, gross. And then I shook out that mat and look at all that sand that came out of it but some of the some flooring just you know not even just the flooring but like the the mats and stuff they can really get a lot of dirt and stuff in them and i don't know why it's so satisfying to like watch large amounts of dirt be dirt be just like cleaned up and i don't know I don't know if that's like a universally satisfying thing, but I used to love watching those infomercials where they vacuum stuff up. And I guess that translated into, as I got older, when YouTube became a thing, watching stuff on YouTube where people clean, especially like with the, the vacuuming or I recently found like a lawn and pressure washing channel. It's just so satisfying to see things get clean. I don't know. So now I'm just scrubbing the floor. That was coming up black, too. It's crazy how much uh, dirt gets there on the floor that you don't even see or think about. Hopefully I can uh, do better with mopping more regularly because I want the floors to be, be nice and clean. And uh, like as I'm cleaning this, my husband needs to, to leave and so he'll be walking by he'll see his feet or legs probably because it is the the entryway so it's um high traffic area that's probably why it gets so dirty because everyone's walking here anyway since the day that i filmed this which was yesterday the 17th today's the 18th uh, that was, like, so busy and productive. I'm hoping to take it a little bit easier today. Um, not do too, too much. So 
it's nice to be able to to just do the voice recording for now. I might do some cleaning later and film that. Hoping my next area can be, you know, right near the entryway or maybe like in the living room or something. So I'm trying to get all the like common areas first and then like the guest areas. So I'm thinking I'll do the living room, get that really nice. I have a couple uh, pictures I need to get up in there. Of me trying to prevent any more wardrobe malfunction so I don't have to clip a bunch of stuff out. And uh yeah, then move into the, like the the play area maybe in the guest bathroom. We'll see. We'll see how it goes and you know how much I can do at once. But the the big thing with cleaning is to make it not overwhelming and try to find like the parts of it you appreciate. Like I felt so much lighter after this. You know, like I was able to look in that closet and it was super pretty and nice. And now I'm, like, happy walking by it. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Have a great day.